It, it couldn't be. What are you yammering about? I... Uh, we're all looking for someone. You and your cub lost then, honey? Hmm. Cried Barnes then. I suppose you two are thirsty? <laughs> Always. Any prideless on the stretch knows where to find every drop of water from here to the Stonelands. Where are the Stonelands? Exactly. Follow me. Say, Pride Lioness, can I talk to you? Thanks again for your help. This means the world to us. What do you need? I like your scars. How'd you get them? Maybe to a pride lion. But we prideless have a soft spot for scars like yours. Really? I've always hated mine. Scars mean you went through something tough in the past. Survived it and came back stronger. Out on the stretch, we respect that. Well, I hope you do think about it that way from now on. But... That's not why I called you here. You should drop that cub. What? Why? I can teach you to survive out here. You've got a strong spirit on you, and that's what it takes on the stretch. But that fat little cub, he won't make it. And he'll take you down with him. Feather and I have been doing fine. No, you haven't. Anyone can see that he stayed round as an egg while you're nothing but skin and bones. You're not in a pride anymore, honey. Any prideless worth their soul would have dumped that cub weeks ago. It's not even yours. I, I know he's not mine, but... You even love that thing? Or is this just some leftover sense of pride responsibility? Because that won't serve you here. I... Look... You and me can leave right now. I'll travel with you, show you the secrets of the stretch and all the tricks I know to stay alive. But I'm not taking that cub with us. So make up your mind. Made your choice, huh? I would rather neither of us made it than leave him alone out here. I admire that. Say, you ever heard of the shifting place? It's this place that's green even in dry season, where the rivers are always cold and clear. The trees so big, you swear they touch the sun. And smack dab in the middle, there's this big waterfall. The tallest thing you've ever seen. Where is that? Well, that's the thing, sweetie. It shifts. It's one place one day, and some place completely different the next. Kind of like a mirage. Ain't that neat? You can call me Rain, sweetie. Anyway, I'll be off. The journey's never over and all that. It was real nice meeting you two. Goodbye, Rain! Yourself. Don't have a fit. I'm just an old traveler looking for water. Our water is for pride lions only. Move along, prideless. You understand, don't you? Dry season's tough for everyone. Fine. Mighty kind of you. She's drinking a lot. Maybe we should ask her to stop. Give her a break. Life's hard in the stretch. Sorry to interrupt, but is one of you called Hover? No. Yes. Ask. I met a lioness on the stretch a few weeks back who was looking for a Hover. Mistook me for her. Reckon that's you? She did. The poor thing's out there wandering the stretch alone with a cub to look after. <laughs> Let him sleep. Don't just sit there slack, Joel. Get up and sit. I told you. You can call me Rain.
Why didn't you tell us? I don't usually volunteer that information. We're here. We're still on the prideless stretch. Close your eyes. A thousand seasons ago, the world was a very different place. Instead of prides, all lions belonged to one of the three great kingdoms. Each kingdom had their own territory, but all lions lived in harmony in a special sacred place called the Emerald Valley. Open your eyes. This way. Come on. This is where you were born. Look. Can they see us? No, this is just a memory. You were called Kyoga, and that cub you're playing with is light. You were both chosen by your goddesses as leaders of your kingdoms. You were promised to each other as mates. To create peace between the sun and moon kingdoms. I know this story. Why are we here? Because you don't know this story. Come on. They grew up. Shh. Pay attention. I've never even left the Emerald Valley and set foot on the wider territories. See, Kyoga liked light just fine, but something was missing. This is one of the most famous love stories in history. What could have possibly been missing? Her. Karabi the Terrible? But they seem like friends, or... Kyoga cared for light, but the only lion she loved was Karabi. I don't see what. Come on. This way. Where is she? Lions from across the three kingdoms are out there waiting for our joining ceremony. <sighs> this way. Light started a war between the Sun and the Storm Kingdoms, accusing Karabi of kidnapping his bride and demanding retribution. It resulted in carnage on a scale never seen before or since. Soon enough, desperate to end the violence, Kyogen and Karabi agreed to meet Light at the highest point in the valley. I've dreamt of this place. That's because Light was the only one left to tell the story. He told it and told it, and when the kingdoms fell, he built pride law out of his hate and fear. When Suns rose in the morning to discover Azra had interfered with the lives of the mortals, her fury was so hot and fierce that the whole of the Emerald Valley was set ablaze. I did my best to put out the flames, but it wasn't enough. Ezra's been missing since then, and Sansa's anger has never subsided. That's why the dry season is longer and harder every year. Ezra's been missing? This whole time? But who's been taking spirits to the stars? No one. Ghosts are trapped on Earth till she returns. That's why I need your help. You are Kyoga. You're destined to kill Light, whoever he is in this life. But if you do, the cycle will only repeat again. Ezra will stay hidden, dry season will get worse, and pride law will continue. I want you to help me end it. I'm sorry. You can believe that and do nothing, or you can help me fix a broken world. Your choice. Okay. What do you need me to do? Find Ezra. She's in the shifting place. 
She and Sons have got to reconcile, but it's under a curse to shift someplace else if Sons or I get too close. I, I wouldn't even know where to start looking. He'll come to you, darling. It always does. But, uh, Ezra won't leave it if she knows it's to see her sisters. Best keep this conversation between you and I. Not trick, just nudge in the right direction. She needs it. I don't know if I can do that. When the time comes, I know you'll do the right thing. Mm -hmm.